looking at red flowering current and the Latin name for this plant is Rebus sanguinium and sanguinium is Latin for blood red which is referring to the color of the flowers and this is a little bit of an exaggeration they're really a very beautiful pink I've seen them range from a really light pink to a really deep rose the flowers hang in these knotting clusters and they're a nectar source for hummingbirds and butterflies and my friend made a really delicious infused vinegar out of them that you can use on salads if you harvest them don't go too crazy because the hummingbirds need the, the nectar too. The stems are reddish, they grow erect and they're unarmed, and they provide nesting habitat for songbirds and cover for small mammals. The leaves look somewhat like uh, blunted maple leaves. They're five lobed and they're deeply veined, and the underside of the leaves is a little bit hairy. And the leaves provide forage for moth and butterfly larvae, and they're also a browse for deer and elk. The berries appear in early to mid-summer. They're kind of hairy. They're a blue-black color with a waxy bloom. Indigenous peoples would either eat them raw or they'd stew them and dry them into cakes to preserve them for winter. The berries are very tart, and I read in a field guide that they are considered suitable by some for use in jams and jellies and pies. Uh, but really, sugar can make any berry good, even a hairy berry. Hey, if you enjoyed the episode and fell in love with this plant and want your very own red flowering current shirt, you can get it at our website at botanywithbrit.com.